Hey guys, uh, just a quick one here. I decided to follow up on my last video and actually this time actually give some more demonstration about the things I was talking about. So the first one we're looking at is I call it the Yomi Shoryuken basically, Yomi Shoryu. Um, the reason why is because you're pretty much putting out a poke um, during the dashing animation which you will see about right here. It's going to pop that and I'm just going to quickly hit an attack button and I do it another one time um, about here just wait and I just hit I don't I'm just guessing I'm purely guessing and yeah you can that's how you can counter um, a lot of rush down uh, the dash in rush down so as long as you're about two dashes away um, or you neutrally dash towards you that should work Alright, so this is another one. This time I'm using just the cane stick. Uh, I, again, it's the Yomi Shoryu. I'm just trying to catch their dash, basically. Um, so, check it out. I think I get twice. So that one. Got him there. So it's, it's a blind guess. So the mind game really is, if he shoots me, that's it. Uh, I'm gone. Um, I might as well get parried straight off the bat. So, we just hit it. That's it. Um, and the rest of this match is just nothing much special. But yeah, so if you're someone's always dashing, attacking, and you you can always push, um, throw out a poke, um, and dash back, and usually you should be safe from that. Now the next technique we're looking at, I usually do is the bait technique. So something you should understand is, in this, in all the Dark Souls games, you basically one dash ahead of time. You know what you're seeing is one dash ahead. So basically, what I do is I just dash back here. And I see them hit, and then I hit, hit them afterwards. So that is the bait. Um, I don't think I'd do it again in this match, but um, the next match you should be able to see a little bit more. I think it's a full long match, and it happens quite a bit. Let's see if I can show you um, and talk to you through it. So what you do is you really just move up forward, you dash back, and in their screen, you're moving up forward and they're attacking you. And you've already dash, you already dodge the attack. Um, so that one just there, I actually unlocked. So sometimes you can dash to the side or to the back and then unlock and hit R1 to the direction that you want to go. So I think over here. Yeah, that's one of those. So I already dashed at the attack and he's attacking some. He's attacking me, but I'm not actually there. So I think there's another one right there. So it's a very powerful technique um, that you could use. So I think over here, oh no, just wait up. So how it works is you're sort of hitting the end of their attack animation. So there's a two hand one I do. Might take some time actually. And notice how I dodge his attacks. Like sometimes you need to dodge late because on their screen they've already hit you. So you have to wait till your own screen to dodge. So you have to dodge its active frames. You're not dodging the spacing, you're dodging the actual attack frames. So you just be weary of that. So over here, I think I can trade. So hit. So I dash back, wait for the attack, and boom. So. Keep that one in mind, it is very, very handy. So, but yeah, um, it's some people think it's an Aaron Nash fest and whatever, but you are quite in control in this game um, as long as you know who's in frame advantage and how to dodge the attacks. So, sometimes you dodge their screen, um, or sometimes you have to dodge late, otherwise, you get hit. So that attack there, if I dodged straight away, I would've got hit by that overhead slam. So yeah, when you when you dodge in this game, don't panic. Absolutely do not panic, because you will be clipped by phantom range, as people call it. And you see that one, I dashed at the last moment, so you can still it on my screen it looks like he's hitting me at the last bit, but I've actually dodged the attack. 
at that time. All right. I'm um, sorry. This is the. I, I can't. I don't have an editor, so I'm just gonna go through. Now, this one over here is um, me using the stake driver. It's gonna use the Yomi Shoyu. It's gonna also use the um, the bake technique, um, as I was talking about. Um, just just check it out. There's really not too much, um, but you can see how the mind games work. So over there, that's a whiff punish. So I saw him attack early, and you could actually punish it. Don't wait till he finishes swinging, because on their screen, um, basically on their screen, they're already finished. Their attacks are already basically finished. So if it's towards the end, you're trying to clip them at the end of their attack, basically. Don't wait for the full reco recovery to hit. Don't be that scared. Try it out. It does work. So that's uh, Yomi Shoryu, just, I can see he's dashing towards me. So I tried to do it there, but I was a bit late on the bottom, that's okay. Got another one. Okay, so this last bit, um, it's, if you're the opponent, okay, just bear this in mind. So he dashed too early. He, he dodged way too early. On his screen, I bet you, a hundred dollars he'll be saying what the hell happened. But he just dodged way too early. All right. Um, the last, these last two clips, just enjoy. Um, it's just about the um, the charged R2 attack. It is very very handy. Some R2 attacks, first of this hyper armor, and some of them have insane tracking. Okay, so just check it out. Uh, the second clip there is just about a, another clause uh, R2, and you can actually follow up with the combo afterwards. So. Have fun with the claws, and hopefully this quick video showed you a little bit more or maybe can help you out um, with a bit of PvP. Alright, catch you guys later.